guys so in this video I'm gonna show you how to program a Firelight MS 9200 adjustable fire alarm control panel these work a little bit different than the Firelight MS 9200 UD the UDLS and so on and so forth now I will make a separate video on the UDAC and how that's programmed but for now we're gonna worry about the 9200 so as you can see we're at the main screen right now trouble in the system no batteries alright so now I want to enter programming alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press enter one for programming and this has a, di a different password um, so I can't show that okay so it brings me to a menu of options zero for clear programming one for auto programming two for point three for system, four for password, and five for load. So if I were to press number five, that would be uh, you connect your computer, you can, um, to, you know, to run your program. So I can leave that. Now if I were to go to point, okay, point program. To edit, press star for detectors, okay, and hashtag for modules. If you look closely, you can actually see below that the star is labeled as detector and the hashtag is labeled as module. All right, so if I'm gonna press the star, and we're gonna press enter, and it shows me that I have a program and it's a smoke detector. So point one is this right here, the SD355, okay? So if I go out of that, I can press hashtag enter, program monitor module one. And I can label it, see how it says pull box, uh, what else, heat detector, smoke, Water flow, supervisory, tamper switch, uh, acknowledge switch, silence, reset, drill, so on and so forth. So we can put that as pull box, enter, okay? So now this is programmed as pull box, and not just a plain monitor module. So we can go ahead and do three for system. Now here's where it gets a little tricky if you don't know what these mean. So VR... VER means verification, SI means silence inhibit, AS means auto silence, PS means pre-signal, CD means it's your coding option for your NACs, uh, AN is your enunciator, S is the SLC, and REM is trouble reminder. Now, with the Firelight MS9200, NAC1 is the only NAC that can be coded. NAC2 is steady, no matter what. Um, so, for example, you could use NAC1 to code your horns and NAC2 for your strobes because strobes don't need to be coded. So, if I were to press, so N means no, Y means yes, okay? So, we can scroll through. Now, coding options. None, March time, temporal, California code, none, back to none, okay? Annunciator. Now, as you can see, S equals 4. Now, if I press the up arrow, I will get a number 6. Now, the difference between 4 and 6 is 4 means class B. Now, like I said, S has to do with the SLC. So, if it's set to 4, the SLC will be, is wired as class B. But if I set it to 6, that means the SLC is wired as class A. So, I always want it to be on 4 if it's wired as class B, because if not, there will be an open and I'll get a trouble. All right. At any time you are done making changes to your programming, you make your changes and then you always have to press enter or else it's not going to save. So we can go ahead. So, okay, now it also says program changes may have errors. Don't worry about this. There are no errors. The NFS2640 does this. I will did tell me that. Um, it's just a screen that comes up. That's nothing to worry about. So key password, enter. Now, also, if I press number two, that's my read status mode, so display point. Remember how we said star is detector, hashtag is module. Let's say I want to see, uh, if, you know, look at the pull station, hashtag enter. Normal, pull box. All right, that means and it's, it's in its normal state, and it's not active. Now I can go out, press star for detector, and it will tell me that the smoke detector is also normal. As you can see right there, it is pulling. 
and we can go ahead and once you're done you just keep escaping and believe it or not it doesn't reset after you escape programming now let's say I need to disable a point on the system here's the SD355 now there's also another level of programming we can log into so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press enter one for programming and I'm gonna enter the password okay now I have another menu with different options, one for disable, two for clear history, three for walk test, four for time, and five for check. We need to disable a point, so we're going to press number one for disable. All right, disable enable, press star for detector, hashtag for module. To detector, we need to disable, so we hit the star, enter, normal, and it says enable or disable. I can select which one I want. So now that I have it selected for disable, I can press enter, and the SD355 is no longer polling. When we re-enable it, we do the same thing we just did. Star, enter, instead of disable, we select it for enable, press enter, and the SD355 is now back online. And once we're done with that, we just log out. Alright, thanks for watching.